What's up everybody? I'm Jeff with Polar Pro and today I'm going to show you how to take underwater macro photos with your GoPro as we explore the Great Barrier Reef. So I'm here with my girlfriend Corey who's going to help me film this video as we search for one of the 190 different species of coral on this island. So when we say shooting macro, we're basically shooting small close-up subjects, but the GoPro won't focus inside of about 12 inches underwater, so we use a macro lens to reduce the focus distance. So shooting macro underwater can be very challenging at times, but when you get that shot, it's well worth the effort. So first, before we hit the water, let's talk about settings. So when I'm shooting macro video, I like to shoot at 2.7K, 120 frames per second, and that's because I like to slow it down by 25%. Because when you're shooting macro, any little micro movement underwater is exaggerated, so I like to keep everything nice and slow so it's smooth. Now if we're shooting photos, I'm gonna put it in single shot mode and wide. Burst mode is definitely more convenient because you get more shots, but I do find the resolution from burst mode isn't as high quality as single shot mode, so I'd recommend sticking with single shot on photos. So for the second setting, let's talk about field of view. Now generally when shooting macro, I'm gonna have it in wide mode, and that's just so I'm able to shoot at 2.7, 120 frames per second. You can also shoot in linear if you'd like, which is gonna kind of give it a flatter look, but then you will be limited to 2.7, 60 frames per second. And I prefer to be shooting at 2.7, 120, so it's more stable, which is why I recommend shooting in wide. And in order to shoot macro with a GoPro, you need a macro lens. And this is our new Switchblade 7, which has both a macro lens and a red filter for color correction that you can use independently from each other. And a couple new features for this generation switchblade is it fully attaches to the housing so it'll never come off and it also has interchangeable filters so you can swap this red one out for a magenta filter if you're shooting in green water. So this macro will reduce focus distance from three to six inches underwater and you can actually use the built-in red filter to determine where that minimum focus is at so you always nail focus. All right, so today we're gonna be filming in pretty shallow water, but I am gonna keep my red filter on and just monitor it and make sure that the footage isn't looking too red via the LCD screen. All right, so for the first tip of shooting underwater, I'm actually just gonna explain right here on land so you can better see what it looks like. For the first tip of shooting underwater is keeping the camera stable. And I like to use a tray because I am able to use both hands to stabilize it. Rather than a pull, if it's just in one hand, it tends to rotate back and forth a lot. It doesn't look too good. So I use the tray, keep both hands stable, and what I do is I dive down from the surface, lock onto my subjects, film, and just float with the current. No kicking, no movements, just pretend like you're a jellyfish going with the flow. And the second tip for shooting underwater is to overshoot. Now when you're shooting macro, you're gonna be scrapping a lot of photos and a lot of videos. So if I see a subject underwater that I really want, I'll dive down four or five times at it and make sure that I get the coverage in that perfect razor sharp macro shot. And my third and final tip for shooting macro is to film at high noon, right in the middle of the day when the sun is highest in the sky. That's gonna give you the most light penetration underwater and yield the most visibility and underwater colors. Now, if it's sunset and you wanna go shoot macro, go shoot. If it's night and you have lights, go shoot. Nothing wrong with that. So there you have it, my favorite settings and tips for shooting underwater macro with the GoPro. We've got a link to the new Switchblade 7 below. I'm Jeff, that's Corey with Polar Pro. Now get out there and shoot some macro.